Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 5.3, adding and subtracting volumes. 5.3 represents Chapter 5, Section 3 of the Corpio 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider the following area R1. Area R1 is equal to the area under the curve y equal f of x from a to b. Take away the area under the curve y equal g of x from a to b. So I can formalize this and I can write down that this is equal to the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Take away the integral from a to b of g of x dx. We can now extend from 2d to 3d. Rotating the area R1 360 degrees, which is equivalent to 2 pi radians, about the x-axis forms a volume of revolution given by volume is equal to pi multiplied by the integral from a to b of f of x in square bracket squared dx. Take away pi multiplied by the integral from a to b of g of x in square bracket squared dx. Looking at the second scenario, so let's move on. Consider the following area R2. Now the area R2 is given by the area under the curve y equal h of x from a to b plus the area under the line y equal t of x from b to c. Okay, so now we can formalize this one over here and we can write down that this is equal to the integral from a to b of h of x dx plus the integral from b to c of t of x dx. Okay, so now we're going to extend from 2d to 3d. Rotating the area R2 360 degrees which is equivalent to 2 pi radians about the x-axis forms a volume of revolution given by volume is equal to pi multiplied by the integral from a to b of h of x in square bracket squared dx plus pi multiplied by the integral from a to b of t of x in square bracket squared dx. Now in some cases it would be easier to use standard volumes such as Volume of cone is equal to a third pi r squared h and volume of cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. These are the key facts of 5.3 adding and subtracting volumes. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Here is the first exam style question. The shaded region R is bounded by the curve with equation y equal 4 minus x squared, the curve with equation y equal cube root of x, the y-axis and the line with equation x equal 1. The region R is rotated through 360 degrees about the x-axis. Find the exact volume of the solid generated. Okay, first and foremost, to work out the area R, I would need to work out the area under the curve y equal 4 minus x squared from 0 to 1. So the integral from 0 to 1 of 4 minus x squared dx. Take away the area under the curve y equal cube root of x from 0 to 1. So the integral from 0 to 1 of cube root of x dx. Now I'm going to extend from 2d to 3d. So we want to rotate the area r 360 degrees about the x-axis. Okay, so we can extend this to three dimension and we can write down the volume of revolution is given by pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to 1 of 4 minus x squared in bracket squared dx. Take away pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to 1 of cube root of x in bracket squared dx. Okay, so that's looking good, yeah? Now I'm going to begin with the 4 minus x squared in bracket squared. Okay, I'm going to open this up into double brackets. So I've got 4 minus x squared multiplied by 4 minus x squared. This will give me 16 minus 8x squared plus x to the power 4. Okay, then I've got the cube root of x in bracket squared. So cube root of x in bracket squared. This is equivalent to writing x to the power a third in bracket to the power 2. So we can multiply the inside and outside powers and we've got x to the power 2 over 3. Okay, so I can go back here and I can write down pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to 1. That there is equivalent to this one here. So I've got 16 minus 8x squared plus x to the power 4 in bracket dx minus pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to 1. That there is equivalent to x to the power 2 over 3. Dx. Solid. 
Okay, so let's take this a step further. We've got pi multiplied by open square bracket. I'm going to integrate term by term, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So I've got 16x minus 8 over 3 x to the power 3 plus 1 over 5 x to the power 5 minus pi multiplied by open square bracket. So over here, I need to do 2 over 3 plus 1 divide by that new power. So if I do this, I get 3 over 5 x to the power 5 over 3 okay so for this square bracket the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is 1 and we've got the same limits over here as well lower limit 0 upper limit 1 so I begin by substituting x equal 1 into this particular expression and if I do this I get 203 over 15 take away substitute x equal 0 I just get 0 and then I've got minus pi multiplied by substitute x equal 1. If I do this, I get 3 over 5. Take away substitute x equals 0, I get 0. Okay, so pi multiplied by this gives me 203 over 15 pi. Okay, minus pi multiplied by this gives me 3 over 5 pi. Okay, so I can subtract these two and I get... 194 over 15 <coughs> pi unit cubed that there is the exact volume of the solid generated and this completes the first exam style question here is the second exam style question the region r is bounded by the curve with equation y equal a half x squared multiplied by x plus 2 in bracket the line y equals 16 minus 4x and the x-axis a solid is created by rotating the region through 360 degrees about the x-axis. Find the exact volume of this solid. Okay, so let's have a look at the solution. Now to find the area R, I need to find the area under the curve from 0 to 2. So this is given by the integral from 0 to 2 of a half x squared multiplied by x plus 2 in bracket dx plus the area under the straight line, okay, from 2 to this x-intercept of that straight line. So if I set y equals 0 in the straight line, and if I solve the equation, I get x equals 4. So I want the area under the straight line from 2 to 4. So I've got plus the integral from 2 to 4 of 16 minus 4x in bracket dx. Okay, now I want to take the area R and I want to rotate it 360 degrees about the x-axis. So I can extend from 2D to 3D. So the volume of revolution is given by pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to 2 of a half x squared multiplied by x plus 2 in bracket. Square bracket around this and we square it dx plus pi multiplied by the integral from 2 to 4. I've got 16 minus 4x in bracket squared dx. Okay, so first and foremost, if I square this whole thing, I get a quarter x to the power 4 and then multiplied by x plus 2 to the power 2. Okay, and this one over here, I can open it up into double brackets and then expand it. I will also need to expand this one as well. So I've got pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to 2. That there, if you expand it and simplify, you get a quarter x to the power 6 plus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4. Okay, dx plus pi multiplied by the integral from 2 to 4. I can expand the double bracket and I get... 256 minus 128x plus 16x squared dx. Okay, so now I can integrate term by term. I simply add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So this is equal to pi multiplied by, if I do integration term by term, I get 1 over 28x to the power 7 plus 1 over 6 x to the power 6 plus 1 over 5 x to the power 5 
Okay, so we can close the square bracket, pi multiplied by, again, integration term by term. I get 256x minus 64 x to the power 2 plus 16 over 3 x to the power 3. So over here, the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 2. And over here, the lower limit is 2 and the upper limit is 4. Okay, so equal to, substitute x equal 2 into this expression. So if I do this, I get 2272 over 105. Take away, substitute x equals 0, I just get 0. And then over here, I substitute x equal 4 and I get 1024 over 3. Take away. Substitute x equal 2 and I get 896 over 3. Okay, right, so I'll just continue here. So I've got pi multiplied by this, which simplifies to 2272 over 105 pi plus pi multiplied by this, which simplifies to 128 over 3 pi. And so if I add these two together, I get 6752 over 105 pi unit cubed. And that there completes the second exam style question. Now I'm going to go through another method where we can easily calculate this using the formula for the volume of a cone. Okay, so I'll go through that method now. Here is the alternative method. I can take the area R and I can rotate it 360 degrees about the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals 4. It creates the following solid of revolution. Now this solid of revolution can be split into a sum of two solids of revolution. Let's have a look at the first solid of revolution. Now that solid of revolution is created by taking y equal a half x squared multiplied by x plus 2 in bracket, rotating it 360 degrees about the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equal 2, as labelled over here, 0 and 2. This solid of revolution is created by taking y equals 16 minus 4x, the straight line, rotating at 360 degrees about the x-axis between x equal 2 and x equal 4. Now the radius of the cone is basically the y-coordinate of a, so the radius is 8. The height of the cone is the difference between x equal 4 and x equal 2, so 4 take away 2 is 2. We can very quickly calculate the volume of this cone using the formula volume of cone is equal a third pi r squared h. So substitute r equal 8 and h equal 2 into the formula and you get a third pi multiplied by 8 squared multiplied by 2. Simple as. Okay, keep your math simple. To calculate the volume of this revolution, I do pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to 2 of a half x squared multiplied by x plus 2 in bracket all in square bracket, square root dx. Okay, so we need to square this expression. Okay, after squaring it, we need to open up the bracket, simplify, and then do term by term integration. Add one to the power, divide by the new power. So if I do this, I get the following expression. Okay, in square bracket, multiplied by pi, and the limits are x equals zero to x equal two. So I substitute x equal two, take away substitute x equals zero, simplify the answer, um, inside the square bracket and then multiply by pi and I get this result over here. Plus, if I simplify this one, I get this result here. If I add the two values, I get the same answer to my previous method, which is 6752 over 105 pi. Now, to be precise, I should put a unit cubed. Okay, so I'm very, very picky with my notation. I should put unit cubed. Ladies and gents, let's do a quick summary. This is the universal method of subtracting two volumes of revolution. And this is the universal method of adding two volumes of revolution. In some cases, you can apply this method over here, as I've stated over there. So in some cases, it will be easier to use standard volumes, such as a volume of a cone or volume of a cylinder. But this method does not apply in all cases. But these two methods over here can apply in all cases, yeah? 
So that there completes my teaching video 5.3 adding and subtracting volumes. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on the notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.